Hey everybody, welcome to GIS Chops. My name's Jeff, and welcome to the very first ever Tool Belt Tuesday. I got the idea for Tool Belt Tuesday from a subscriber named Christian Farmer. He asked if I would go through each of the tools in ArcGIS Pro, as well as how to use them and when to use them. So here we go. The very first tool I chose, or selected, was the selection tool. You can get to the selection tool if you go to the map tab in the selection group and then just click on the selection tool. You can also find it on the edit tab in its selection group here. And you can get to it from the modify pane if you choose a tool from the most of these tools in the modify pane. If you choose the tool and you don't have a selection, it will default to the selection tool. So it'll let you quickly select some features, and then do something with those features. So the selection tool has different modes of selecting things. There's different shapes that you can draw that will select these features. The default is the rectangle selection tool. With it, you just click and drag a rectangle and it will select anything that intersects with that rectangle. Now, if you notice, there's something new here with ArcGIS Pro that didn't exist with ArcMap. They give us an, um, they give us the marching ants selection graphic, much like they have in Photoshop. With that, you can hover your mouse over it and then move it, and it will change your selection based on what's intersecting the new location of that rectangle. You can even make that smaller, reshape it however you want. So that's new. I think that's a pretty handy trick. You can also turn that off. I'll show you how to turn that off later. Next we'll go uh, with the polygon tool. With the polygon tool you just start clicking vertices in a polygon and then double click to finish and anything that intersects with that polygon. And then you can also move that polygon and resize it. Now the lasso tool is a freehand tool. So you click and drag a shape, however you want it to look and, it, and then let go and it selects. When I first encountered this marching ants graphic, I was like, how do I get rid of that? And to do that, you can just click off of it and that, that clears your selection and gets rid of the marching ants. For the circle tool, you click the center of a circle and then drag to the radius. Anything that intersects with the circle gets selected. The line tool I like to use for kind of the finer selecting, intersecting polygons and lines. Just start clicking vertices for a line, double click to finish, and you can move it. Now the trace tool is new with ArcGIS Pro and I think it's kind of one of the handier things that they've added. You can click on a feature and it will start tracing that feature. And then you just double click to finish and then it selects anything that intersects with that that traced line and you can move it so that's how you select things using these different shapes now if we click on this dialog box launcher it opens up the options page for your project with the selection tab highlighted and it has a bunch of different settings that you can change you can change your selection color you can select your, or you can change your interactive selection mode. It defaults to partially within, and you can change it so everything has to be totally inside your selection graphic. And then here's the interactive selection method or the selection combination mode. Uh, if you change this, you can, you can have things just added to your selection. 
or removed from the current selection, or you can select features that are already selected. And if you notice, there's keyboard shortcuts here that do the same things. And I rather I'd rather use the keyboard shortcuts uh, because it's quicker. I don't have to come into this box and open or change a setting. I can just hold down a couple of keys and it's done. The only time I do change this is I change it to add to current to the current selection. That's if I'm selecting a bunch of road features that are quite long and they don't fit on the same map view. If I have to pan around, I switch to add to the current selection. That way, if I forget to hold down the shift key, it's not going to create a new selection. It's going to just add to the current selection. So I'm going to go over those keyboard shortcuts in a minute. There's also an option to save layers and tables with their current selection, display the interactive selection graphic, so that's your marching ants. If you turn that off, you don't get the marching ants anymore, so let's, let's show you that. So I draw my rectangle, no more, no more selection graphic. I'm going to turn that back on. The selection chip is more when you're editing. If you're trying to, if you select more features, it will pop up and ask, kind of be a way for you to select just one certain feature instead of several. Now this keep invisible features selected with a new selection, I haven't ever messed with it. I imagine it would be troublesome if you're editing because you could have features selected that you can't see and you might inadvertently delete them. So let's change this back to create a new selection. So here I have a bunch of features selected. If I want to add to my selection, I hold down the shift key and drag a box. And that's going to add to my selection. I can also hold down the shift key and move my selection graphic and it still adds to the selection. Now with ArcMap, if you held down the shift key and drag a box over something that was already selected, it would also it would remove it from the selection. So shift worked for both add and remove in ArcMap, and it was kind of tricky. It was almost like one of those logical puzzles to figure out which, what would happen when you held down the shift key and, and drug a box. But I like ArcGIS Pro, how they've split it up into shift and control. So with, if I hold down the control key, it's going to remove things from my selection. And I can also hold down the control key and move that, that selection box and it will remove things from the selection. So for selecting things from a current selection, you hold down the control and the shift button together and it's only going to select features from your current selection. So you see there it only, only selected features that were already selected that intersect with this new box. And you can also move that box around. So if I move it clear up to the top, it's gonna drop the selection of that, those two lines there. One other thing you ought to know about selecting features is how many features you have selected. If you come to the attributes pane, it shows you broken down by layer, how many features in each layer you have selected. So you can see I have three, layer, three features in my point layer and 11 features in my line layer. You can see the same thing over here, if you activate the list by selection mode, you can see my point layer has three and my line layer has 11. Handy thing with the attributes pane is you can select these individual features. I'm holding down control here. And then right click, them, right -click those and that gets you a whole bunch of options to do with, with, that, with those selected features. Like I can say, I want these features unselected so then they're removed and you get a smaller selection set. You can also see how many total features are selected if you come down here to the bottom of the view, which shows you 10 features here are selected. And you can also open the attribute table for a layer and it will tell you how many features are selected. Well, that does it for the selection tool. I hope I got everything. If I didn't, let me know in the comments or if you know a trick with selecting features, put it in the comments. If this helped you out with the selection tool, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and tell your friends and colleagues about my channel. I'm putting out weekly content to help you get better at GIS 
get better at your job and more efficient. Thanks for watching.